What's going on everybody? My name is Kyle Welcher. Thank you for stopping by and watching the video. And today we are out here by the boat. What we are doing is trying to get rid of these water spots I have on my boat. I've been fishing a ton over the past few months and I have not really found anything that will get all these water spots off. I'll show you what they look like. They're pretty caked on. So you can see right here, I've already been over this with my normal stuff that I use and none of this will come off. Like it is daggum on there big time. So you can see it's on the black a little, I mean on the uh, fiberglass pretty bad. I've already washed this, I've already went over it pretty good. Can't get it off at all. Okay, so this is the stuff I normally use. Basically, this came with the boat. It's some Lucas Slick Mist. It does work pretty good. I mean, it cleans dirt off and it, it does shine the boat up pretty well. I've also used this. This is a waterless washing wax you get from Walmart. It's this, you know, a regular one. I think this kind is actually better than this and I've been using a microfiber cloth. This does not work. I cannot get the stuff to come off. So it makes the boat look good from a distance, but we got to get these water spots off. So I've already wiped down pretty much the whole boat and you can tell, yeah, I mean, it looks pretty. You can, I mean, from this far away, it looks good. The motor actually looks pretty shiny, but when we get close, that's just not the case. So this is the water spots on the motor. You can see them. They look a lot worse. I mean, from a distance, it all looks good. From close up, it just looks bad. So I just went over all this with the all that and used a microfiber cloth. That does not work. So let's rig something up. Okay, so basically, with the research I found online, the only thing that I had here in the house that I could test it on you need three things. Water. I've got this much water in here. I'm gonna mix that much water with the other substance. You have this rag. This rag is more rough. It has more texture to it than the microfiber cloths I was using. The microfiber cloths I was using are real smooth. They work well for waxing and you know, making it look shiny, but you can't really get that stuff off because you can't apply. You need that texture. You can really press down and scrub on that stuff. And what I'm assuming is the most important part is distilled white vinegar. Not a big deal what brand, I guess. I mean, I guess it's all the same. I don't, I'm not exactly a vinegar expert. I have probably never used vinegar for anything in my whole life. But we're going to fill this bottle up with vinegar and see if it works. <laughs> that aim right there is dead on. Okay. So I've never done this before, so it's either going to work or not. And basically, I used about exactly that much vinegar. And you saw how much water I had in the water bottle at the beginning. So what I'm going to do is take this water bottle and shake it up. And I'm going to get me my favorite fishing hook in the world out and poke holes in the top of the bottle. So basically we got a Trocar TK-130. I figured that with this surgically sharp hook, it'd be the easiest one to poke in the top of this water bottle. So I'm going to poke probably three holes in it in like a triangle. One, two, three, let's do four. Nice, even number. So we got four holes in it. Now we're gonna squirt it on the water spots and see if we can scrub it off. I don't know if it's gonna work or not. Some people online said it does. We'll see, let's get this. 2019 Ranger looking brand new again so you can really see them in that camera angle these things don't look very good at all let's apply the mixture it actually doesn't smell too great but let's try to scrub one side of this see if it comes off it's a little better but it's not uh all the way off. Let's hit it one more time. Mm. Still leaving a little to be desired. Still, you can tell though, it looks way better than the rest. So we're definitely gonna do that to the rest and then I'll check back with y'all. <sighs> okay. So I've actually been scrubbing on this for a while now, and it does look better, but as you can see, it still has terrible water spots, and these things are tough to get to come off. It could be because this is made out of metal, 
or I think it's metal. I thought it was metal too. It sounds like that. I think it is metal though. But so we're gonna try it on these water spots right here, and I'm gonna go from here to here and just see if it works better on the clear coated fiberglass. So just for comparison, I'm going to squirt the Lucas Oil stuff right here and use a uh, rougher textured rag to wipe this down and see if that does better than the vinegar. So as you can see, it's pretty close in comparison. Both of them don't do as much as I would like for them to do. Okay, we're about halfway through it. I've been out here scrubbing pretty dang hard. I've covered a small area, but I've really been scrubbing, 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 scrubbing. The vinegar does work a little. It's not as good as I thought it was gonna be. I watched the video on it and they acted like it was a cure-all for water spots. It is not that. Um, it does work a little. I think it does work a little better than the washing wax that I've been using. I just went back from the car wash, like the spray-in kind that you scrub with the brush. That didn't get it off. So now we're gonna hit the motor, see if it works better on whatever the motor's made out of that thing. So it didn't work very well on the, it did work. It didn't get everything off of the chrome metal, off of the gel coated fiberglass. It did seem to work a little better. Uh, let's try the motor, see how that works. So we're gonna try it in this area. So we're gonna span the area of the 250 up about like this. So we're gonna hit all this with it. See if we can get something to come off. You can see the spots are not terrible, but you can definitely see them. And then you can see them big time over here. So we're gonna see how much better this right here looks than this. Okay, so check it out. That's above the 250. I hope y'all can see. 250 right there a little bit of water spots but compared to that that is not bad um yeah it did actually help right there see i'll go up there it gets way worse right there not bad so for the motor material it actually does work whatever the motor cow's made out of works on this Now take a look at this side over here. Looks good, looks smooth. You can see, this is the camera thing I use for my phone. Looks pretty good though. Look at the back side. Cloudy, real bad. We'll go hit this and I'll show it to y'all in just a second. All right, so I just hit that engine with the wax, the washing wax, whatever you wanna call it. And you can see now, looks pretty glossy, looks pretty good. The vinegar definitely worked better on the motor. I hit it right here with this. You can see it looks pretty good. It looks better than it did over here on this side. I still need some work. I need to really scrub that side. I'll say it did work decent on the metal. Still has some that didn't get off. I guess I could, you know, apply 10 coats and probably get it all off. Like right here, I, I used it. It got most of it off. It, it does work pretty good on the uh, clear coated fiberglass. Works decent on the metal. I did not try it on these, but this is actually metal painted so I'm gonna put it on these and just see they have a little bit I'm gonna put it on these and see what it does almost out got it scrunched up like it's toothpaste or something take a look at them so I'm gonna say if you have an aluminum boat that's painted like that it's probably gonna work pretty well for that because this thing looks pretty good actually so now my boat Look how shiny that motor is. Smell, uh, smells like my 250 back there has been coloring Easter eggs for the little 50s and 75s out there on the lake to go, go look for. Um, smells definitely like somebody's coloring Easter eggs. But in conclusion, it worked pretty decent actually. Um, for the motor, it worked really well. For the power poles, which is metal painted, uh, it worked pretty well. For the chrome back there, it did not work very well. I mean, maybe it's just you could tell so much on that. I don't know for sure, but it did knock a lot of it off. It probably got 
60 to 70 percent of the water spots off the chrome and then off of the gel coated fiberglass it got a lot off so that actually did work pretty decent it worked better than any of these things worked except for that that's vinegar i'm not sponsored by any of these products not sponsored by lucas oil or whatever this is and i'm definitely not sponsored by vinegar so um just honest review it actually does work decent it actually i sprayed it on some places where i had bugs there's a lot of gnats out on my home lake is like chickamauga right now a lot of gnats on the lake it had tons of bugs stuck to the motor on the top sprayed on it and all the bugs came completely off and hit it with wax and it looks good right now so if you got a aluminum boat the vinegar is going to work really well for you if you have a fiberglass boat it's going to work pretty good and you know until i can find something better i guess i'll be using vinegar for a while okay so i just got completely finished wiping down the entire boat thing looks beautiful now the vinegar i would definitely try it if you got some stubborn water spots you can't get off but as always if you're new to the channel leave a like leave a comment hit the subscribe button all my old viewers i appreciate y'all coming back and watching if you are new to the channel though we're gonna be doing some cool things this summer not just fishing fishing is my background that's what i do most days i am a professional fisherman but we're going to do a lot of hiking swimming you know skiing behind the boat maybe jumping off cliffs whitewater rafting i might record it all and post it on my channel that's why i changed it from the dove fishing to kyle welcher because in the summer i'll be having fun i'm gonna share it with y'all so hit that subscribe button it's gonna be a fun summer